Once the most important temples for Beirut's Greek Catholic community, today they lie among ruins. The parishes of St. Salvador and St. Basilio are located a few feet from the port of the city where the explosion occurred. The parish priest explains how he felt that moment the clock stopped. I started taking people to the hospital near my house. One poor man died before he got there. So many children came that the hospital could not care for them all. Then I went to my parish and found the roof destroyed, the doors open and the people covered in blood. This scenario filled the country with a pain that had already started with a serious crisis. Father Nicolas says that in addition to helping rebuild Beirut, the church is currently trying to heal the hearts of people. In the midst of the economic crisis, the coronavirus and now this explosion, people don't know what to do. They have two options. They leave the country to look for work abroad or they die here. We as a church are screaming in order to bring hope to these people. Above all, it's so that Christians do not leave Lebanon. Father Riachi says it's impossible to think of a Middle East without Christians. However, this latest blow has been very intense for the Christian community in the country. I cry when I remember the funeral I did for a girl. I have named her the Angel of the Parish. She was three years old and an only child. It's the first time in my life that I held a funeral for a little girl. Despite the pain and bitter memories, this Lebanese priest will not lower his guard and continues to give testimony of faith in the midst of the storm. There is intense suffering. As Christians, we have to seek the light, the resurrection, joy and hope. Without these things, we cannot live. Humans, and especially Christians, are not only flesh and bones. Christians are made of hope. They are words seeking the miracle of healing the souls of so many people. Jesus himself worked miracles in these lands, the same ones which today cry and ask for help.